And when it comes to boundaries, I love talking about boundaries because I struggle with them because I'm a recovering people pleaser. When it comes to setting boundaries in relationships, what I learned from that relationship though is how to how to lead with truth. You know, we wanna we, we want to step into romantic relationships with our best foot forward. Like I'm gonna show you all the good stuff. And part of showing the good stuff, we also think like I'm also going to kind of like make myself into the good thing that I think you're going to like. And and I think leading with your truth is this is who I am, these are the boundaries that I have in relationship. And you have to decide what those are for yourself. How do we non-violently communicate boundaries? Because some of us, we scream that shit at people. And when you're screaming your things at people, no one is listening. If you're yelling at me, I'm not listening to you. How do I set the stage for a difficult conversation? Let's sit down, let's make some tea, pour me a glass of wine, and we'll be like red wine, pour me a glass of wine. <laughs> so I know to prepare myself for a conversation that might feel uncomfortable, but if I've done the work, and you've done the work, I can start to see conflict as a way for us to come closer together. I can see boundary setting as a way for us to come closer together. And that can be an encouragement for you to say, maybe for us to grow, we also have to sit in the discomfort of these conversations. Right? Yeah.